After slugging it out with a large formation of Japanese warships, Task Force Basilisk made it back to Sarabaya and was able to rapidly rearm. There was a sense of urgency, as it seems the enemy never sleeps. A large Japanese task force is bearing down on Sarabaya. Our intelligence indicates that this task force is in fact a landing force. All that stands in their way is Task Force Basilisk, which has been severely battered and bruised. However, they will do what they must to halt the Japanese invasion of Java. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. Task Force Basilisk is standing in the way of a oncoming Japanese task force. We have lots of aircraft in the area which will help. We have M139s, some Hudsons, and a bunch of CW21s. So we are going to do what we can to take out this Japanese task force because I do believe it is a landing force that is heading towards Surabaya. Task Force Basilisk is way out here. We're going to have Perth begin targeting here. They are 22 kilometers away. I'm going to start firing high explosive and we'll have them spot. Go ahead and open fire with Perth. I want these Hudsons to drop down to the deck. I think our best bet is just to attack individual ships here. We're going to drop down, skip bomb as many of these Japanese destroyers as possible. It looks like a formation of like eight destroyers. Task Force Basilisk was able to rearm at Sarabaya, so we do have that going for us. Let's accelerate here. Our M139s need to kind of close in as well. I'm going to have our CW21s begin strafing. Strafe two, why not? Go get them. And our Hudsons are coming in. We'll bomb targets three, five, and six with these Hudsons. They're going to break formation. And I'm going to have one bomb six, one bomb five, and one bomb three. Go get them. Go get them. CW21s are closing in. Is Perth opening fire yet? That is the question. Looks like, yep, she has let out a salvo. They are spotting. Solution's at 54% on this Fabuki. And I'm going to have the Seagull come over here as well to help spot. This was actually launched from Perth. We do have more reinforcements on the way. Exeter, which is a heavy cruiser, and Yara, which is a little destroyer escort, are heading up here as quickly as they can. They split off from convoys, which were heading up to Java from Australia. So hopefully they will be able to reinforce. I'm not sure we are going to be able to destroy this entire task force. Uh, before they land. I hope so, though. I hope we are able to do this. I want this flight. Go strafe them. Okay, Hudson's are closing in. Come on. I believe in you. Our AI bombers have just been absolutely atrocious when it comes to accuracy. Like, this guy... I can already tell these bombs are going to miss. This is the... the uh, who taught you to bomb? Where'd you learn to bomb, buddy? All right, well... <laughs> Let's see, this one looks good. Hopefully he doesn't drop too early. Well, he's leading the target too much though. Come left, but drop. Okay, completely missed. Partially my fault, but I'm gonna try to, try to manual drop here and nope, not happening. Yeah, just the, the bombers have been bad. I know I've, <laughs> I just manipulated them into possibly doing even worse. Um, but you know, all right, Perth, I don't want you to really spot anymore. Just let them have it. Fire as quickly as possible. Throw as much, as many rounds down range as you possibly can. And we are going to attempt to cross the T here. Fubuki looks just fine. It's about to get strafed though. We're going to lose a good chunk of our aircraft during this, I think. I'm going to have these M139s drop down to the deck. I think our best bet is to skip bomb, even though it's proven to be quite, quite ineffective in recent attacks. Hopefully CW-21s can inflict some damage on these destroyers though. Man, that's just so many destroyers. Come on, there we go. Nosing over, strafing. Come on. There we go, started a fire. 
That's what we like to see. Hopefully we can start more fires. Another group is coming in on this Fabuki. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Multiple explosions. That's what I like to see. Get out of there, boys. Okay, Perth, how's it looking? All guns are opening fire. Open fire with your secondaries. There we go. Jupiter. Begin targeting number one and open fire on one. Fire high explosive. Good. When we get close enough, we will engage with torpedoes and scout can engage number one as well. All right, CW21s are going to put some distance between the group. And come around and start strafing more targets. Go strafe them again, please. All right, another Fabuki. Two Fabuki class destroyers here. This one does not look too good. Hopefully, Perth can start getting some accurate hits before they get too close. I don't think we have taken any damage yet. No, Perth does have heavy damage. She has been battered from previous engagements. Probably would be a good idea to have her go back to Australia for repairs, but you know what? We're going to keep her here as long as possible. There we go. CW-21s are strafing. We lost one. This may be their last strafing run for a little while. More are coming in. Come on. There we go. Another good strafing run. Lost another CW-21. That's okay. It's worth it. If we can stop the Japanese from landing on Sarabaya, then, you know, we'll do it. M-139s. I think I'm going to have them just try to nuke this leading Fabuki. What's our solution on the Fabuki? 47%. Yeah, we need to get a little bit closer. They haven't been too accurate with their gunfire yet, so that's good. That's reassuring. M139s are closing in on a Fabuki class destroyer. Perth is really laying into this leading destroyer. Also, looks like three of them are smoking now. Hopefully we get a bomb hit here. That would be swell. Okay, near misses there. We lost one M139. We have another formation coming in to engage target number three here. Let's see what we can get. This Fabuki looks all right. Target number two is burning. She's not looking too great. All right, here's hoping these guys are able to drop their bombs and get some hits. We'll see how they do. Let's see who's Perth. Perth is still engaging target number two. Yeah, well, you will have her keep engaging her. We are 12 kilometers away. We're starting to get a little close. Let's see. Hopefully these M139s manage to get a bomb hit. Gosh, a bomb hit like this would be devastating. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Direct hit. That was a like a 2,000 pound bomb. Fantastic. Our CW-21s are all forming up. That had to have been brutal. Good. Perfect. We have damaged quite a few destroyers now. None of them are looking particularly good. I'm going to have Scout. It is a little dark. Scout, go ahead and fire some star shells up there over the target area. See if that will help, uh, help with our gunnery, illuminating the target area. Their solution's only at a 62% right now. And one thing I'm, I'm starting to think, there we go, we're actually getting hits on her. We have not had very many surface engagements at night in this campaign. A lot of them have taken place during the day, which is kind of funny. Regardless, we have crossed the T here. This is looking okay. I'm not hating our odds, all things considered. This Fabuki is looking all right. Okay, Scout, stop using star shells go back to firing armor piercing at that destroyer please firing high explosive what's our range 10 kilometers okay torpedoes i'm gonna fire all torpedoes with a you know what let's do a one degree spread here they're sailing right at us fire 
have Jupiter start firing torpedoes at him. And I'm going to have Perth do the same. Perth, your torpedoes. Fire four torpedoes, one degree spread. Actually, I'm going to manual fire something like that. Let him have it. You can see the launcher swinging out. One away. Perfect. Okay, our torpedoes are away. Love to see it. What's going on back here? Lots of confusion, lots of chaos. Scout, you doing good? Do we want to fire your torpedoes now? I think we do. Two torpedoes. Let's get a fatter spread here. Three degree spread. I don't, I won't manual fire. Just get a, get them going though. Perfect. Once you're in arc, they should start firing their fish. I think they're just out of arc here. Yeah. That's okay. Let's change course. Let's change course slightly. Torpedoes, hold fire with those. Get an arc with the rest of the formation. All right, how's our Fubuki friend looking? Not good. Solution's still at 50%. 49%. We, one destroyer is just completely obscured by the smoke. This one is almost dead in the water here. All right, scout, are you an arc yet? Not yet, okay, come right. We'll break from your formation, that's fine. Six kilometers away. And you know what, you'll do a fat spread, seven degrees. Rotor midships, because it looks like they are starting to turn. All right, fire, there we go. Four away, perfect. Uh-oh, Perth just got hit. All right, she's gonna start laying smoke and start turning away. Start turning away, please. Scout is pretty much out of ammunition. She has 90 rounds left. She's still letting him have it. And Jupiter just suffered a magazine explosion. What luck. Damage, oh goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, magazine explosion. What rotten luck, what rotten luck. Thankfully these torpedoes are looking good. I probably should have done a fatter spread, but this looks good, all things considered. These two Fubukis look in really rough shape. I'm gonna have the CW-21s go into strafe number one, please. I hope we get some good torpedo hits here. Perth is really the only one that's combat effective. I can't believe Jupiter suffered a magazine explosion. That's another destroyer that we're going to lose. And one of our good destroyers. That Whoa! A second mag explosion? My goodness. Abandoned ship. That's, it's time to do that now. Poor Jupiter. Wow. That is just the worst luck. Okay, Perth needs to change course. There we go. It was only a matter of time. Jupiter is going down. Well, you know what? We got our revenge. Torpedoes in the water. Perth needs to come left. Hard left, please. The Fubuki just suffered a magazine explosion and she's pretty much done for. Okay, Perth, begin attacking number five. We only have armor piercing available on Perth, so that's what she's engaging with. We can fire our torpedoes from our starboard launchers here as well. It's a lot of torpedoes in the water. Come on, I hope this spread just really lays into, like, number six here. Some torpedo hits would be fantastic. All right, come around, come around, come around. I think it's time to start laying our own smoke, please, Perth maybe work on disengaging here poor jupiter scouts getting out of here there's nothing she can do start laying smoke it's time to go another big explosion out there i mean this japanese destroyer fleet has been more or less messed up okay 
I don't think we're going to hit this one. However, this Fubuki <laughs> may be on the receiving end of some uh, some torpedoes. All right, come on. Solution's at 36%. We already got that Fubuki smoking. Firing armor piercing. Switch to high explosive. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, torpedoes are already out. They automatically launched them. Good. Love to see it. We turned around and evaded those Japanese torpedoes. And it looks like... No, none of our torpedoes are going to hit, unfortunately. Alright. That's fine. Let's let them have it. Hitting that Fubuki pretty darn good. Yeah. None of our torpedoes are going to hit. What a shame. Should have been a thicker spread. Here we go. The enemy have lost a Fubuki class. She is finally going down. We're still engaging target number five. However, maybe a good idea to try to finish off. Like this one is borderline stationary. Let's do some manual gunnery. So manual fire right on that one. Please and thank you. Try to finish some of these off. Like number eight here looks horrible. If we can sink three of them and get out of here. This Fubuki does not look good either. Yeah, we'll have to take what we can get. Perth is laying smoke and trying to get the heck out of here. Let's see how close these rounds are. There we go. Nice and close. Got a pretty big explosion there. Okay, manual fire. Right in front. Narrow spread. Fire right there, please. Finish her off. It's a shame none of our torpedoes managed to hit here, but that's okay. Let's make sure Scout doesn't end up taking any torpedoes. She is being targeted. Which is kind of funny. Alright, how are things looking here? Alright, keep targeting three. Though these torpedoes may end up hitting her. There we go. There we go. Confirmation. A second Fubuki is going down. We have lost one destroyer. The Japanese have lost two now. And possibly a third soon. Earth is running away and still engaging. Perth is still engaging, and it looks like we have torpedoes in the water heading towards her. Let's make sure we are going as fast as we can. A third Fubuki has gone down as well, so we have sunk a total of three. And oh goodness, that is a lot of torpedoes in the water. All right, come on, Perth, come around. We are engaging... Is this the one we're engaging now? I thought we were engaging target number five, which is not looking too great. Let's see. Who are we firing at? No, we're firing at seven, which is fine. Let's dodge these torpedoes first. That is our primary goal. We'll do a 360 here. Just go in a circle before continuing back on our merry way. If we see the report, you can see quite a few of these. Like number five is in pretty rough shape. Target number three is in critical condition as well. And we've destroyed three, so... I think we'll be able to get at least a fourth. That'll be half of their task force destroyed before we can head back, rearm, and try again. Perth is really causing some serious issues for the enemy here. Okay, let's go right between these two fish. And we should be golden. What's our ammunition situation? Okay, yeah, 44 rounds in the bow magazine. Pretty much out, so we need to head back and resupply very quickly. We need to come to port a little bit more though. I am not liking this situation here. This is a little, a little dangerous. Okay, right full rudder. Don't overcorrect. Okay, we have plenty of room. Looks a little closer on the map. Okay, time to get out of here. Keep blowing smoke, head south. Let's run. That was a overall pretty good engagement, I'd say. It's a shame we lost Jupiter to two magazine explosions like that. Absolutely brutal. And, uh... But we're going to disengage. This one looks good. I'm sure she'll be scuttled. Alright, let's disengage, rearm, and try to finish off this task force. Oh, 
Alrighty, folks, here we go. And good news, two of the ships were scuttled. We sunk five of the Japanese ships here. 9,755 tons sent down to the bottom. Of course, Jupiter was lost, unfortunately. Perth is really undamaged. She had heavy damage when she went into the battle. So overall, very good engagement. I will take that even though we lost Jupiter. Okay, continue on. This task force needs to head south to rearm. New air assets. I really don't have anything available. Task Force Python is racing over here as quickly as they can. And we also have Exeter and Yara heading up to Sarabaya to assist. And we have our convoys here, of course. Anyway, that's the current situation. It is day 41 of the campaign. Let's see what the Japanese do. Hopefully they just decide to turn around. I would appreciate that, um, but I don't think they will. Well, I think they may continue chugging on towards Surabaya. We have been spared. The Japanese task force is heading northeast and getting out of here. We also have a couple of Japanese ships just hanging out here, just stationary. I, If they're just hanging out there, I'm not going to deal with them. I am glad these guys are running away. So task force Basilisk will be able to rearm. I'm thinking I'm going to send Scout back home. I could actually have Scout take up uh, escort duty for the convoy. That may be a good idea. Regardless, we have some aircraft out here. Sarabaya, new air, can't launch. Okay, Task Force Basilisk, we are going to rearm. Rearm, perfect. And we will reform Task Force Basilisk to be a little more potent. Um, We'll take some, we'll siphon off some ships from Task Force Python. I'm thinking we'll take off Tromp and then Exeter. So that'll be Perth, Tromp, Exeter, and Yara. I think that'll be okay. At least for what we need. Let's check on Batavia. Resources are running pretty thin. Look at how low we are on supply. The problem is we are bottlenecked by the amount of supply we get weekly. We have zero supply here at Darwin, so... Um, Hopefully these guys will be able to finish off this little Japanese pocket, despite being on a shoestring. Brief update on the situation. I am doing some reshuffling. I have Tromp here and she's going to head up to Task Force Basilisk and group up. I have sent Scout down to Australia. We are going to release her because she is in horrible shape. Additionally, Exeter is coming up along with Yara. I would have siphoned off more ships, however, I still want Task Force Python to be a sledgehammer, and I'd really not, I'd really rather not take away too much firepower here. So we're going to keep her, this task force, as is. Additionally, we should be getting some more command points soon, so that'll help buff up Task Force Basilisk, and then we'll have another task force, hopefully, that we will be able to form. It is a new week. We have 33 command points to play with and we can see Task Force Basilisk here has been formed up. Let's go ahead and spend those 33 command points rather quickly. New C. Now I could get more submarines. That is something uh, quite a few people want me to do. Some motor torpedo boats may be kind of fun to play around with as well. However, I am going to, I am going to, I know what I want. I want some Clemson class destroyers. How much are they though? Five points. So we'll get three Clemson class destroyers because they have a lot of ammunition and they also have torpedoes. Overall, they are pretty good destroyers. Do I want to get, do I want to get four Clemson class destroyers? Let's see. Is there a light cruiser that we can get? We can get Langley eventually. Let's go to British ships. Um, J class destroyer, 12 points here. HMS dragon. Okay, that's 32 points here. You know what? I'm gonna rock with this for the time being. This will be a pretty fun and quick task force to play around with done. That gives us one command point. And um, you know what? With one command point, you know what we can get? Let's go to Dutch, get a TM4 motor torpedo boat. Why not? We'll grab one and play around with it. New seam. Get one. Done. And we will have this guy just race up here and cause some issues. This task force, Task Force 17, we will rename it to Task Force Jupiter. 
And we are going to manage the cargo. Manage cargo, take on as much supply. Only 600 supply available this week, wow. Okay, and then troops. Might as well just take on troops. There we go. All right, course, come up here. And then this little torpedo boat. Can it take on troops as well? It can take on 10 men. That's not even worth taking on, but that is awesome that it can carry 10 guys on there. All right, this little torpedo boat, we're gonna have it come up and just patrol around here, I suppose. Make sure no Japanese assets slip through and get into the Indian Ocean. Okay, this convoy is slowly chugging on back. Perfect, this convoy's heading up to Sarabaya. It's a situation here, we have no supply here, so this is what we will supply. Okay, that's the current situation. O-19 has detected some ships here, four ships, possibly one heavy cruiser. She's operating way up here in the north. Let's begin. Hopefully that cruiser report is accurate and it looks like it is, thank goodness. Okay, left full rudder. Up scope. Let's take a look here. Looks like target number three, a Miyoko. Okay, that is our prey. Target number three, please. We are going to fire a full salvo here. Let's identify her. Through our periscope for maximum immersion. Okay, it is obviously a Japanese warship. Flip through here. All right, and they already did it. They were faster than me. Miyoko, there we go. We're gonna get nice and close. Fire a salvo of four torpedoes. Let's get all four ready. One degree spread. We are going to be pretty darn close. It is now time to fire full spread. Wait for our gyro angle here to reach zero degrees and then we will let loose our torpedoes. Hopefully four will be enough. Hopefully we at least just cripple her and send it back. We already know one Miyoko has to be in dry dock. We damaged it severely. One degree, fire. There we go. Torpedoes away, four away, let them have it. All right, we are going to swing around and get out of here. Torpedoes are racing in. It looks like all four are going to be hit. No duds, please. Okay, love it. One hit, two, three torpedo hits. Love it. Okay, three hits amidship. She looks horrible. Already pretty bad. <laughs> love the one dud torpedo right on cue. Gotta love it. Okay, we are getting out of here. Um, I'm debating, should I fire more torpedoes now? We'll see. We'll swing around and try to fire a couple more fish. Actually, left full rudder, increase speed. What's the Miyoko speed? It is slowing down rapidly. If it's dead in the water, we may fire a stern torpedo tube here. A lot of people ask about the side launchers, by the way. I can only fire those while submerged, or on the surface, excuse me, unfortunately. So I can't fire them while submerged. Okay, let's raise our periscope. The Miyoko is at zero knots, easy target. All right, let's look at her. Let's fire one fish. One stern torpedo. There we go, rudder amidships. One torpedo, no spread. Fire. There we go, torpedo away. Drop scope, increase speed to seven knots, drop to 50 meters. Let's get out of here and we will leave the combat area once this torpedo hits, hopefully. Wow. <laughs> of course it was a dud torpedo. Okay, dud torpedo, we are going to disengage. She looks like she's in pretty rough shape. Uh, hopefully she ends up going down though. I can't believe that one was a dud. That's so frustrating. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, we were clear to leave the combat area. I wanted to leave before the destroyers got close and started depth charging. The Miyoko has heavy damage and heavy flooding. I guess she is going to be able to recover. At the very least, the Miyoko is pretty crippled. That's good. 
Uh, we will keep operating up here. If we get her again, we will fire more torpedoes at her and finish her off. But that should leave two Miyokos. The last two Miyokos should be in dry dock at this point. I mean, if we look here, I remember we crippled one of them. So unless it got out of dry dock very quickly, I highly doubt it. So Miyoko, yeah, I guess there's two still operational. They don't tell us if one's in for repair. So who knows? We will see what develops there. Here we go. Convoy AJ-1 has arrived at Sarabaya. We are going to manage our cargo and we are going to unload all of this engineering supply at Sarabaya and these troops. Why not? Our little Corvettes are carrying troops. We have 100 engineering here. I'm just going to unload it all at Sarabaya. So <laughs> Sarabaya now has 135 engineering. Okay, and this convoy is going to head back. Scout has made it to Darwin. We are going to release her. And additionally, this convoy has made it here. We are going to take on some fuel and supply. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.